Okay, so I know it's been like three weeks since I've posted my last video. Don't hate me. I'm sorry, but we're back. We're back in action. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. These, these last few weeks have been incredible, but they've also been extremely negative. And I've just had to take some time to work some things out in my mind. And a lot of negativity was going on in the fragrance community, and, and it was just sucking me dry. And I'll be quite frank with you. I was this close to throwing in the towel for my two cents. I was going to close up shop. But I realized something. I have the stinking most amazing fragrance family on YouTube. You guys have been so supportive. You have been reaching out to me on DMs and messages, yeah, even phone calls, man, and in comments. Y'all are freaking amazing. And it was because of you, you brought me back to life. You made me realize I ain't quitting you. No way, no how. I just celebrated my 38th birthday, and you know what? This year is gonna be freaking amazing, not only for myself, but also for my two cents. And what I'm looking forward to the most is sharing it with you. So like I said, I just celebrated my birthday, so you know what that means. Birthday haul! That's right, guys. I have five niche fragrances that I cannot wait to share my two cents with you. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. going on my beautiful fragrance family i hope each and every one of you are doing fantastic today and welcome back to my two cents my name is brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory all right i'm going to show you guys what i got real quick and then we'll get into the whiffing and sniffing so first up on the docket we have from a tat libre de orange we have ryan intense incense also from the house of a tat libre de orange we have eau de protection and i think it's rosie de palma um, eau de protection. Also, I got a tester of Prada Desert Serenade. I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. This is actually a subscriber uh, recommendation. I got one of the newest ones from Strangers Perfumery, and this is Sweet Farewell. And one I'm super excited to share with you guys comes from the house of Kajal. You idiot, man. It's collage, not Kajal. And this is Panther Fangs. Okay, quick disclaimer. I've already sampled all these. Like I said, I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue doing this. Um, so I've already, I've already smelled all these on paper. So the reason I'm wearing tank top is so I can spray all these on skin and share my experience with you. So where should we begin? Again, I don't know why I ask you guys that. I actually really want to start out with the two newest releases. So I'm going to start with Sweet Farewell with, from Strangers Perfumery. I have not worn any of these, like I said, on skin yet, but here we go. The box presentation on all of the Strangers is pretty much the same. Pretty simplistic. Um, also, Strangers kind of, you know, allows us, us reviewers to cheat because the notes are right there on the side. But let's go ahead and spray it on. I'm going to spray this on my left hand. And here we go. Okay, so I really didn't know what to expect from this fragrance. The notes really intrigued me when I saw it on Lucky Scent. It's nutty and creamy right off the bat. There's not really any like citrus that I, I detect. I'm sure there is some citrus there kind of giving everything a little bit of lift, just starting things off. But it's quite nutty. Actually, very nutty. Um, I'll read the notes to you. So it's got... Pandan leaves, vanilla, musk, coconut milk, rice powder, palm sugar, nipa palm leaves, sandalwood, tonka, cedar, and ebony. I was really excited about the ebony. On paper, I didn't really get any of the ebony. I guess with the rice powder in it, it's giving it, it's almost, it almost kind of smells like Rice Krispies. With a nice nuttiness in the background. It does have some green creaminess to it. Vanilla is very predominant. You really get it right off the bat. Don't really know what pandan leaves smell like, but it's good. It's very creamy. It's got that green creaminess to it. The vanilla in it is also nice and creamy. All right, so I'll let this dry down for a little bit, but it, honestly, on paper, when I first smelled it, was not my favorite, um, but maybe, maybe on skin, I'll enjoy it more. So, so this next one, I'm super excited to try on skin with you guys because on paper, I freaking loved it. And I know I said earlier that it was Kajal. No, it's not. It's Collage, and this is Panther Fangs. Now, uh, Collage is out of Romania, and I've tried quite a few of their fragrances. I own one. This is my second one, and I'm going to tell you what. If this smells like it did on paper, ugh, hell, if it smells better than it did on paper, I'm going to be in love. I love this presentation, too. Like, kind of up their presentation. I really like it. It's almost got, like, that Bortnikov gold silk even though that's more like polyester, but whatever. Uh, I think it's Miguel Matos is the nose. 
I'm really excited to try this on skin. So we're going to go on my right hand with this one. All right. Oh my God, it's so stinking good. It's so stinking good. The musks, the civet in this. All right. I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, so you have this mixture of citrus um, up top. I think it's going to be like bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, but it's, it's blended so well. It just smells like fresh citrus. But you also get those animalic musks. You get some nice amber in here. But the musks, it's like, I know this is going to sound crazy, um, but the first time when I smelled this on paper, I was like, I, I don't know what this smells like, but I've smelled this before and I figured it out. It smells like puppy breath. I know, I know. It doesn't sound appealing, but I love the smell of puppy breath. It's freaking cute, man. It just smells like sweet and a little funky and like animalic. I, I kind of get that. I can kind of see where they're going with like panther fangs. I love the story behind this. Now, when I do my full review on this, if you guys want to see it sooner than later, drop me a comment down below. But this is stinking good, man. All right, so I'm going to let this dry down. I'll come back. I'll give you my final thoughts. But so far, I freaking love this. Unique, animalic, sweet. You have a little, I mean, just almost like an effervescent quality to it. It's bright as well, but it's got a lot of depth. It is it's good. So far. Let's see how it dries down. So let's see. We'll do Prada Desert Serenade. Uh, my buddy Carl, who lives over in the UK, he told me I need to get my hands and get my nose on some of these Prada Olfactory Privé collection. This, Desert Serenade and the Tat Libre Orange, I, I got all three of those at FragranceBuy.ca. Now, this on paper was really good. Um, I did a leather episode, I think it was, or something along those lines, and I had a lot of people say, hey, you need to try Desert Serenade. So this is a honeyed leather. I'm really excited to see what this smells on skin. Oh man, so I love the honey in this. It's sticky, but it's raw, and it does, it blends really well with the leather because the leather is kind of like a rough leather, but the honey really is so balanced in there to just smooth it out, make it just round it out and it give it a nice rawness and also like a nutty honey quality. It's really good. It's, but that, like I said, that I like the leather because it is a little funky. It's got a, like a rough and tumble quality too. And I think there's cumin in here as well. And the cumin really adds to that too. It almost gives it a vintage feel. Love the honey. So I'm going to let this one dry down just a little bit. Like, But for a honey leather fragrance, I got this for $164, I believe. Um, full retail, I think they're closer to 400 So I think I got a really good deal on this. Um, but we'll see. I don't know longevity and everything on these. Like on paper, they all lasted pretty well. All right. So next one we'll do is we'll do Oda Protection, which is also known as Rosie De Palma uh, Oda Protection. But I think I got this for a good deal too. I think this was like seventy bucks, maybe maybe eighty bucks. And here's the bottle, Oda Protection. Oh, come on, focus. Quit focusing on me. I know I'm the birthday boy. I'm gonna spray this one in the crevasse of my right arm. I love the sprayers. Look at that spray. I mean, that's it's killer. Okay, so to me, when I smelled this on paper, it was almost like a metallic rose with maybe some almond and like this interesting chocolatey like note. Um, I think it's cacao. Even on skin, it is kind of a sweet metallic rose with a slight creaminess to it, but there's something very metallic, like green and metallic, almost like stainless steel. Like a, almost like a chocolatey rose, like a, but more like a, just like a, like a cacao dusting, not a whole lot of chocolate. I think there's also some sandalwood in here as well, but definitely maybe like some heliotrope or some almond. I would say that most people, most guys out there would probably say that this leans a little feminine. And I could totally see that. But I don't know. I don't know if exactly I would rock this one. I wasn't very impressed on paper. And on skin, it's a little funky. It's not bad. It's becoming more of a realistic rose, actually. Sort of. It's. I mean, some of the top labor to orange, they're kind of just funky. You know, I mean, they just think that's their whole shtick so but i'm gonna let this dry down for a little bit longer and then you know i'll give you my final thoughts at the end next up we'll do ryan intense incense all right 
from a tat lever to orange. Now, I do love these bottles. I mean, I think they have really cool bottles. On well, the 100 mLs, it's got that tat lever to orange right here. Nice hefty metal cap. And I'm going to spray this one on my forearm right here. Now, on paper, um, I did really like this. Um, I know Fred was telling me he does not like this fragrance whatsoever. It's funky on skin. Okay. Lots of aldehydes. Like very fizzy, just very effervescent aldehydes. And a lot of incense. Okay, it's getting better. But there's a nice sweetness to it. But it's almost it's almost got this bubblegummy quality, but it's more like chewed up bubblegum, like no flavor left. Or just maybe a little bit of flavor. And you kind of get that bad breath incense. And I don't know if that's because of the aldehydes. But there is there's almost a fruitiness just sitting in the background, kind of just giving it I don't know, giving it a weird quality. Hmm, I'm gonna have to let that one dry down just a little bit longer too. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna let these dry down for about 30 minutes and then I will be back with you guys. Trust me, it'll only be like literally a second. All right, so I'm back. It's been 30 minutes. So let's see here. Um, all right, where should we begin? Well, I guess we'll start with Stranger's Perfumery. Okay. Um, it's almost like a rice pudding. It's got some green qualities to it. I don't get the ebony. I get some woodiness, but ebony has got this really rich factor. And this isn't that rich. Lots of vanilla, creamy green qualities still. It's nice. Um, I'm going to have to say that it's 100% unisex. Probably leans a little bit more feminine, but I could definitely see myself rocking this. And I'm going to give it, you know, some full wearings and then I'll, you know, probably put it, you know, full review out there. If you want to see it sooner than later, just let me know. Drop me a comment. But yeah, sweet farewell. It's good. Not mind blowing. It's good. The one I'm really excited to talk to you guys about is Collage. And this is the Panther Fangs. I absolutely love this fragrance. I think this is, if you like animalic fragrances that are still have a nice sweetness to them, they have a lot of character. Um, if you're looking, I mean, this is, it's just a very unique composition. I think there's something in here called Buchu, and I'm not really sure what that is, but whatever it is, is giving this just a unique woody and almost just, just a dry, interesting, like, facet to it. I don't know if there's incense in this. I know there's a nice smoky quality. Like, you're getting this really nice, almost leathery smoke. I freaking love it. I think this is super unique, and I'm excited to wear this. I probably would start wearing this uh, come fall. But uh, Collage Panther Fangs, yeah, I'm really excited to wear that one. Prada Desert Serenade. Let's see. Okay. Honey. Honey definitely is, is, is a lot more tame, but it's more like a waxy sweetness, uh, like a raw honey, more like honeycomb. Leather's really standing out. I still get a little bit of that cumin. There is a really beautiful cypress. I love the cypress in this because you're getting, you know, kind of that woody quality, but you're also getting like the needles and the green facets. It's really nice, almost a spiciness to it as well, like a green spicy quality. Nice leather is still kind of rough, but I I think that's for 160 bucks. Like if you if you can get a tester of this, I mean yeah totally. It's got a magnetic cap too, which is always a plus. Okay, so next up, let's do eau de protection. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this this I don't know about Ryan and Tench yet, but this is my least favorite out of the bunch. Um, I I don't know. It's a funky rose. It's like almost like a metallic rose. Like if it's, if you had like roses in a metallic vase and they ended up dying. I'm not saying that it smells like death whatsoever, but if you smell the water afterwards, it's kind of what it is. It kind of smells metallic and like, like rose water. Green. Touch of like a sweetness. It's really weird. I mean, I, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. I could see why people would like it. Um, you kind of have to enjoy those older school style um of rose fragrances like especially women's perfume like the old school but this is very modern with that very metallic quality yeah um i don't know 
I'll, I'll definitely give it some more wear. If you'd like to see me do a full review on this, I can, or any of these, comment. Last but not least, Ryan Intense Incense. Like this a lot on paper, on skin. First kind of impression was, eh. Huh. It's, it's so interesting because it's almost like a fruity, fruity incense. And I don't know if that's the aldehydes. I don't know if there's actually any fruit in here. But it almost has like a, like a, like a, like a berry bubblegum. Like, just not like overly sweet or too bubblegummy. And this is like not Invictus, but it's very interesting. And almost has a nice leathery quality to it as well. Kind of just like maybe some labdanum. But the incense has definitely dumbed down and is becoming just really almost like a sweet, smoky incense. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, you know what? I think this would be a good one in... Well, hell, I'll probably start wearing it now. It's starting to cool down already here, so... I don't know. Still on the fence about that one, but I do... I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty good. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, so there it is. That's my birthday haul. Sorry I didn't do it on my birthday, and I really appreciate you, all of you, again. Thank you so much, man. And again, we have the best freaking fragrance family on YouTube. So let's go ahead and make it bigger. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Join this beautiful fragrance family. This next year is going to be freaking awesome, not just for me, but for you, too. Appreciate you all again. Thank you so stinking much for believing in me. But that is it for me today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.